What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of the Samsung Fascinate. This is Verizon Wireless's Galaxy S device, which we've seen quite a bit of lately. These things are blistering fast, so I'm really excited to take a look at Verizon's offering and see if it lives up to its fascinating name. Alright, so let's go ahead and dig in. I'll go over the specs as we check out the box and such. This is going to set you back just about $200 on a two-year contract. So, of course, we will bring in the Slice Your Finger Off cutter, the big old knife. Go ahead and slice a package. This just came from uh, the Verizon PR folk. And push that off to the side. It's available now. We'll go ahead and it looks like there's some PR stuff in there, a business card. And here is the phone itself, or the box itself, rather. Looks like it comes in a bit of a sleeve. All right, so some specs on the device. This is a Galaxy S device, so it is running Samsung's Hummingbird processor, uh, which, let me tell you, is one of the fastest processors uh, that I've seen. To get more specific, it's a 1 gigahertz Cortex A8 Hummingbird processor. All you got to know is this thing flies. Uh, I've tested other Galaxy S devices. I expect the Fascinate to be the same speed as the others, and if it is, it will be blazing fast, although I will put it through the test. Uh, it's going to come with uh, Android 2.1, which is Eclair, for those of you keeping touch at home, uh, with Samsung's TouchWiz interface sitting on top of it. You're going to have two gigs of memory automatically put into the device, installed uh, hardware-wise, and you're going to get a 16 gigabyte micro SD card already thrown in there. 5 megapixel camera with LED flash, capable of shooting 720p video, and enough of me talking, let's go ahead and uh, to the phone itself. So here is the Samsung Fascinate. It does have a super AMOLED display, which is incredibly impressive. Uh, really bright colors and vivid blacks. Uh, it's a 4 inch screen with a resolution of 480 by 800. So there's a picture of it, like we said, nothing on the side, on the back. This box contains, we will open the box right now and take a look. Slide this off and pull off the Samsung topper. And this sort of a hard cardboard to protect the device. And here is the Samsung Fascinate. Go ahead and push it off to the side for just one minute and see what else you're going to get in the box. You're going to get tips, hints, and shortcuts. It's nice that Samsung and Verizon are including actual manuals with their phones. I think are very uh, nice to have. So here is the uh, power outlet, which I assume, a power adapter rather, I assume just has a USB port right into the side. This I'm guessing is your charging micro USB cord. And that is about it. No headphones, nothing else in here. That is all you're going to get in the box. So let's push that off to the side and take a look at the phone. And it looks very similar to what we've seen uh, on other Galaxy S devices. So here's the 4-inch screen that we talked about earlier, the Super AMOLED display with the resolution of uh, 480 by 800. So you've got your typical Android buttons on the bottom. You've got your menu button, home button, back button, and search button. They are capacitive buttons. Uh, I do like that they are actually visible, though. You're going to have to wait for them to illuminate, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. 4-inch screen. You've got your sensors on the front for proximity, 5 megapixel camera on the back with LED flash, capable of shooting 720p video, so that is pretty nice. Uh, the back of it is plastic, it looks textured, but it's not, and then you know it's a Galaxy S device. On the left hand side, volume up and down toggle. On the right, you've got your power and lock button. On the bottom, you've got a microphone jack and the battery release, and a 3.5 millimeter headset jack and the micro SD or micro USB charging port, which I assume has a little bit of a door, like we see on some other Galaxy S devices. Uh, and speaking of other Galaxy S devices, let's bring in its brethren uh, to see the difference. Here we have the Samsung Captivate uh, for AT&T. You can see how they all look similar, but a bit different. These two are probably the closest uh, related looking. We got some square edges on the AT&T version, round versions here in Verizon, but you can see the buttons. Uh, across the bottom, which is very important. You look at something like the Epic 4G for Sprint, which you cannot see those buttons on the bottom, which becomes quite an annoyance when you want to uh, use them. You gotta tap it, wait for it to light up, and oftentimes tap it again. So push that off to the side, bring the Fascinate back, and here it is with the iPhone 4. 
See, it definitely looks a bit larger in the screen department. Go ahead and stack them, and very, very, very thin. Let's go ahead and boot this on for the first time, and of course, stay tuned to the channel and Techno Buffalo for all of your Galaxy S, and so in this case, Samsung Fascinate coverage. I gotta say, Samsung's getting very uh, uh, gutsy with their naming schemes. The Captivate, the Epic, the Fascinate. Uh, they're really uh, proud of their phones, evidently. And if you haven't seen, by the way, the screen on the Galaxy S devices, uh, they are very, very, very impressive. Uh, the Super AMOLED display uh, looks really good. Uh, so here it is, Fit Puzzle 2 Unlock. Looks like it's got a new sort of uh, unlock screen. Let's see how that works. Let's go ahead and slide it over to the puzzle, which is kind of interesting. And there it is. This is the Samsung Fascinate with Bing as the uh, search engine has been talked about uh, quite a bit. Anyway, guys, I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. If you have any questions about the device or things you want to see, uh, go ahead and let me know. I'm kind of curious to hear what you guys uh, have to say. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.